Welcome to the channel. In this video, I plan to say today's cricket news. Top 3 batsmen with the best strike rates during the 20th over in T20 history. When it comes to the T20 cricket, the shortest format of the game, the final over is what makes it count. A team might play well throughout the 90th over of the game, but one over of bad cricket can still make them end up on the losing side. The shortest format, the sh sorry, the shortest format of the game, the T20, has given additional weightage to the art of finishing. Over the vast history of T20 cricket, many have provided impactful performance during the 20th over of the tournament. Let's have a look at the three batsmen who have the best strike rates during the 20th over in the T20 cricket. Number three goes to David Miller. The 30-year-old South African middle order batsman is renewed consumption when it comes to the franchise cricket. The Nathal born cricketer has served King's level Punjab for a remarkable tenure before being released before uh, the auction last year. Other clubs Miller represented include Hobart Hurricanes, Jamaica Talevas, Wimping Hawks, and the Durmar Heat. Miller strikes the ball at a phenomenal strike rate of 227.35 during the 20th hour, largely coming while settling scores for the opposition. The T20 t t giant holds an impressive tally of 495 fours and 306s in all T20 matches. Second, JP Dumini. JP Dumini carries only a marginal strike rate above Miller during the ultimate over of the innings. The former South African Limited over batting mainstay at the middle order has played for various teams for IPL, including Delhi Daredevils, Mumbai Indians, and again Delhi Daredevils. Much like Miller, most of his heroics in the 20th over come while batting first and setting targets. Too many has smashed 463 boundaries and 221 maximum in his glittery T20 career. Number one goes to the hitman Rohit Sharma. The hitman holds the record for the highest strike rate during the final over in the T20 cricket with his whooping tally of about 250. His abilities to finish the game of cricket for India was displayed recently against New Zealand where he hit the final ball for a gigantic six to seal India's win in the super over and also to seal the series as well. Most of these runs have come while loading the jersey of Mumbai Indians. Unlike in the Indian side, Rohit comes at number 4 position, holding the responsibilities to answer the innings through that. Over the years, Rohit has accumulated a massive 763 falls with more than 356s in his majestic T20 career. Thank you for watching my channel. Can you like, subscribe, and comment? And for more such daily news of the world cricket, kindly subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.